The bandsaw has to go up and down so I can cut planks from a log. So I'm making a simple frame to hold it from box steel. On the way I learned something about cutting discs. The cheap ones bend. I found a better disc and tried again. And now the second cut on the right turned out much better as you can see. It's actually straight. I just welded the pieces together. The hardest part was cutting the mitres accurately. And then laying the pieces out, trying to get the corners square and the sides parallel. This is 6mm thick box iron. It weighs a lot. The frame got caught up on a pipe hanging from the ceiling. Luckily the pipe missed me on its way down. The frame is now too heavy for me to lift on my own, so I had to walk it to the saw. And it, it's a snug fit, which is good. It has to fit inside vertical pieces of angle iron on the saw. Next I put on the feet, size 20 at least. These are the key pieces, one on each side. They are brackets which will grip the uprights. They have to hold on to the uprights snugly so there's no wobble. But not too snugly because it has to slide up and down smoothly. So I'm using some thin card to pack out the bracket while I mark where the bolts will go. I'm not welding these in case I need to dismantle it all later on. I put lots of grease on the moving parts and then it was time to try it out. That's a trailer winch. And these are pulleys from the farm store. I just welded on their shaft bolts. I'm thinking I'll replace the wire rope with some thicker stuff. This 3mm wire seems a bit thin. But it's working fine so far. It all goes up. It all goes down. Up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. What more could anyone want? Now next, I added two short pipes at the front, and these hold up a guard, which can be taken off when I need to get at the belt or the blade. It should stop me if I trip over and fall into the top blade, and if the blade snaps, the side guards should make sure it heads down towards the ground and not up to the ceiling. Right then, so far so good. The next thing is to get the saw going through a log. Now normally the saw is on wheels and the log is fixed. But I thought I'd do things the other way around. And so I'm going to fix the saw to the ground and have the log moving through it on rails. 
So the next job is to build some rails. I'm really looking forward to that part. Stay tuned.